This here is a beginning of a byway that was named in honor of my ancestor. I am the great, great, great niece of Sacagawea, direct descendant of her brother, Kimiawat. And we are so excited to travel this route. I'm glad you wore your shell earrings because our people will recognize us with our shell earrings. When you travel this area, there's so much to tell. In modern times, I like to look at how our stories describe the geological landscape here. That area, our people say, it's where the lungs of our Mother Earth is. It's where she breathes. We're made of water. Without water, we're nothing. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give an offering to the Ba. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now shut your eyes and feel where you're at. You're in harmony, you're in peace. And if you listen to the animals, they will talk to you. This is what Idaho is about. It's about the wilderness and it's about going to some place that you feel is untouched and some place that you feel like you can find yourself again. And that's what I love about this. Peace and harmony is what mankind seeks. So your great, great, great grandfather's buried up there and they honored him because he was, he was a man of peace. I'm really honored to be home and be where my people are and be able to honor the heritage and the bloodlines that we come through. When we go home, our land will recognize us. The land will become happy because we believe that that top layer of soil is the dust of our ancestors. So the land's gonna sing and we have to sing to it. Yahweh, yeah, yeah. Yahweh, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you see the sunshine? They say that when they see us and when they hear us sing our songs, that the sun will shine and the valley will welcome us. Your mama, your daddy, me, and all the elders and your grandma and them worked to set this up. Oh, here's Leela when she was a little girl. Oh, amazing. <laughs> we worked really hard and we went through a lot of difficulty to get this place set up. The lady that put it together found out we were the familial descendants and she wanted to make sure that it was our face that was up there. This right here is the Bavi, the Bavi pole. All of these poles have symbolism. We sing to our ancestors, we sing to our spirits, and when we sing the songs to our spirits, our ancestors all know where we are and our spirits will know that we're home. Mm -hmm. And they will come and they will be a part of us. We're connecting to this area in a different way. We're looking at Idaho in a different way. This is our land. This is our home. And I wanted visitors to come and experience it. 